pulled our way. You can see here southeasterly flow uh, moving over Louisiana. Don't need any more rain there. They're getting it, and we're getting some too as moisture gets pulled in here. There's a big stationary frontal system to the north. That's also helping to trigger showers for us. We're seeing some northeast winds, but mostly a southeasterly flow. Wind gusts have not been too high, but don't and, and don't. I guess not think that we can see winds higher than 23, because we can't. With these storms, we could see wind gusts really pick up quickly, so you can see some strong winds. All you need is this. You need some heat, you need lift, and you need moisture. We have all of that. So 92 for a high today. Started at 69, and we're still seeing very warm temperatures to the east. A little bit cooler in the areas that are getting rain. 67 in the Guadalupe Mountains, but that's still enough heat to keep those storms going and fuel the, the energy to produce some stronger thunderstorms, and that's why we have that marginal risk for some severe weather. 60s across the northern zones overnight tonight into tomorrow. We're going to see highs tomorrow in the 80s. We're expecting another chance for rain tomorrow, so get ready for that. Rain showers will continue. And then for the central basin, including Midland, Odessa, temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees for overnight lows, and then highs in the upper 80s. 90 degrees for Midland, the same for Rankin, 89 for Big Lake, and for the Trans-Pecos. Temperatures there in the 60s, 70s from Balmeray over to Ira Ann and Sheffield, even Dryden at 72. We'll see the 90s to the east and southeast, and then 80s as you head back to uh, northwest to Red Bluff. Uh, Pine Springs at 60 degrees, 59 Fort Davis, 60 degrees in Marfa, 70s in Marfa, 75 in Alpine, 73 in Fort Davis, but it's not going to be great outdoor weather because it will be raining there tomorrow. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, chances for showers. Best chance, though, starts us off next week, Monday, 40% chance. And then we start to see a drying period and temperatures will sort of ease back up. We'll see 90s this weekend, and that could actually uh, trigger a couple of strong thunderstorms uh, Friday and Saturday. So that could be a major issue for football games Friday. So pretty much wherever you are in the basin, umbrella is a good idea. It is a very good idea, and then have a place to go in if it starts getting really bad, like lightning and wind. You want to go inside somewhere. All right, good things to keep in mind. Horace, okay. thanks. Sure. Okay.